Hello, hello. Horns up and welcome to a very surprise live stream on Headbangers Kitchen. All right, I'm just going to wait for people to show up. Um, I was preparing some keto korma, so I thought to myself, why not get on the live stream and take you guys through the process. So a little bit of a live cooking demonstration. I hope you are all doing very well. Uh, I don't know, is anyone on the live stream yet? Hello. Well, we're just going to wait for people to show up. And while that's happening, I'm just going to... Hey, Dipti. Let you guys know about the dish we're doing. So, I got myself some mutton chops. Now, just an FYI. Uh, here we are. Mutton chops. Okay. These are mutton chops. Mutton in India is goat meat. Unlike the rest of the world where mutton is actually old sheep. So in India, mutton means goat. Hello, Colors B. Oh, is everyone? Like, there's no one watching today. Oh, anyway, maybe I've... Anyway, let me not waste time on jibber-jabber. Let me get cooking. So, <clears throat> I'm making keto korma today. Ah, good to see you all here. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Uh, let me know which part of the world you're watching from. And, uh, yeah. So, all right. Yes, Dipti? You need me anytime soon. <coughs> How's five minutes? Oh, I don't have coronavirus. I just cough because I'm clearing my throat. Because talking takes effort. Am I on the right channel? Is this Headbangers Kitchen? Are you guys watching Headbangers Kitchen? Just let me know. I have this weird feeling that uh, this is not Headbangers Kitchen. Is it? Yes, okay. Alright, let's get down to business. So, we've got mutton chops of chicken white korma masala and so I said why not let's use this it's easy uh, it though though it does have a little bit of sugar but uh, it's it's not got that much sugar in it enough for you to be uh, keto so yeah I'm using this masala packet and maybe after the live stream I'll uh, post an Amazon link for anyone who wants to grab one of these so I'm using this I've got my lamb <coughs> here I've got some onions that I have slow cooked in ghee till they're nice and brown yes dad uh, slow cooked in ghee and there's also some fresh garlic in there as you can see nice black and caramelized and um, I got some yogurt here this is just regular yogurt that we get in India and for those who keep asking me if you can eat yogurt or not on keto well this has six grams of carbs per hundred grams so yeah you can consume yogurt this is none of the yogurt in India has sugar in it it's just sugar free And here, and here, ladies and gentlemen, I've got some stock. I don't know if you can see it. Some lamb stock. So what I did was because mutton, the goat meat, is very tough. I put the mutton into the pressure cooker. I put some water and I put the korma masala and I pressure cooked it for 30 minutes. So that's what I did. And then I have leftover mutton stock. So it's pretty simple. You got your korma mix. Less like about a teaspoon of this with my mutton chops and some water and salt in a pressure cooker for 30 minutes. And then in about a tablespoon or two of ghee. I chopped one onion and fried it low and slow till it became lovely and brown and then I added some garlic and I cooked that till the garlic started to brown and now I can proceed with making the korma. So I think this would be a good time for me to call upon 
my wife to, to be my camera person to sort of follow me around if she's free hey guys how are you all doing to see you here make sure you hit that like button on this video so that other people see it as well hey dipti are you free now well all of us uh, here in mumbai are sort of self isolating or self quarantining and uh, we're all at homes social distancing. social distancing so we're all here and my beautiful wife is here too and she is going to be the controller of the camera okay yeah bit okay so really simple to get started i've got my little food processor and into this so you get all of that onion and it goes into the food processor Let's get all of it in every little bit perfect oh yeah all right at the same time i'm actually going to turn on the stove because i want the pan to heat up and along with this i'm going to add some yogurt so open the yogurt let's get a spoon now <clears throat> just about i think 100 grams of yogurt should be enough look at that lovely is that just onion yeah just onion garlic cooked in ghee mm, and uh, one spoon of yogurt for me chinna we eat yogurt i just felt like as it's very warm here in bombay right now yeah so and this goes into the the nutri bullet or whatever is that too loud <laughs> anyway that's done and then this goes into the saucepan saucepan Yes, and of course, make sure you put some water into this. You can focus here also. Oh, that's so. Put some water in, just to rinse onion and give it a good mix. Listen to that song, Bachi Bachi Gabbo. You know, that's right. I'm getting disapproving looks. So anyway, this goes in. Then in goes the mutton stock. Uh, So yeah, this all goes in. Hi, Esther from the US. Hello. And then give it all a good mix. Now you just have to let this cook for a bit. Always taste it too. Hmm, yummy. already quite yummy so we're going to cover it and cook it and then once that's become a little thicker in go the mutton chops and as i said mutton is goat in india though all of you must be thinking of old sheep unless you are from india then you know mutton as goat and i'm sure you can do this with lamb chops as well you can do it with chicken as well Uh, but if you're doing it with chicken obviously you don't need to pressure cook the chicken unless it's like a country chicken or something but yeah pretty simple um i'll just go over the process once again since we have this on the stove you take your lamb chops and then you take your shan mix and you put it in the pressure cooker and cook it for 30 minutes you do the hokey pokey you open that up and the lamb chops are ready to cook Then you take one onion and you take some ghee and you fry it in the sauce pan till it's brown and what's the driving word? Yummy. Yummy. You do the hokey pokey. Add in some garlic and then you puree it with yogurt and then we put it back in there and we're cooking it and yeah. So I guess we can have a chat while this is cooking and uh, stuff and Ditti I can release you from your. No doubt you'll want me back soon. Yes. I need to turn the camera now. Oh wait, I can show you this. That's me. 
That's my mother, that's my father, that's my brother. Anyway, so yeah, cooking lamb chops. Whoa. In fact, maybe I should go and sit out. Hey, good morning from Ohio. Hi guys, how's it going? Uh, how's everyone doing? Is everyone well? I hope you're all doing good and I'm really, um, you know, hoping you are all safe as are your families. I obviously missed a lot of the comments. Hello, hello, good to see you all here. Um, because, um, I had the lamb chops to make and might as well do something. Hmm. But I don't know if this is an appropriate time to be on the live stream. I think maybe I should plan my live stream slightly better because Hey, Rose, to do the things we've been putting off for so long, I guess. Also, folks, don't forget to hit that like button on this video so that Google knows you like it, YouTube knows you like it, and the other people on the internet know you like it as well. And yeah, waiting for that korma to cook. I'm quite excited. It's delicious. Though I'm not eating it today. It's for my lunch tomorrow. Uh, tonight I'm eating some steak. I managed to get my hands on some beef steak and yeah. Hello Navjot from South Hall UK. Hi, how are you? Um, has the UK started issuing advisory yet to y'all to stay home and to practice social distancing? What time is it? Oh, hello Dawn. Hi, good to see you. Not legal in India. Stop annoying me buddy beef when i say beef i mean water buffalo what is legal baba uh, can i ever do a live stream without somebody bringing this up as an issue don't you think the world has more problems right now than to worry about beef it is oh, man. it's always anyway because we need that right now in the world all right so let's have a look at this this is bubbling over. Nice. Check it out. Got that cooking. Nice. It looks good. And this is a lovely... In fact, I'm thinking I'll put the lamb in it now. You know? Just kind of get the lamb to... Really, the, the goat meat, sorry. To really get those flavors in. add in all that goat yes I will give it a good mix once I wash my hand and then of course wipe said hand good mix make sure that it's all I mean it's a little difficult to do this with the camera but yeah let's make sure that's Hey, thank you, Gloria. Thank you for being there. Yes, you all stay safe as well. We're all in this together, ladies and gentlemen. Some delicious lamb. Let's get that heat up again. Get nice and high. Get the lid on. And let it continue cooking. So this recipe, I actually adapted from the back of the box, which is... It's like, I mean, I, I skipped a few things. So, but yeah, that's it. I mean, like, it's pretty chill. So now I'm just going to cook that and uh, let it just, it just simmers and we can talk for a little bit more. Uh, today's live stream will not be very long. Um, I'm going to try and shoot a few. Uh, so you guys will still have recipes. So this is actually goat. I just keep saying lamb because I know a lot of my audience is not from India. Um, it's actually goat. Why is the location set to USA? Ah, that's for SEO because most of my audience is based in the USA. So I just always by default just set it to USA so that, you know, um, most of them get notifications because it's, it's the maximum chunk of my audience. That's my dad there. You can see the back of his head. 
all right so there's not much to do on the korma front now except just wait for it to cook i guess this is why uh, edited videos are better than uh, live cooking because you have to actually sit through the cooking process in real time which i mean is fine i i don't have anything else to do but uh, hopefully you guys are not getting bored <laughs> if you have some questions i'll be happy to answer them I will do that once he's done with, he's busy paying for their non-keto food. Oh yeah, that lamb's cooking. Well, I'm glad to see you guys here, as always. Give it all a good mix, absolutely. That's what we do around here. How can I redeem my cheat day? Well, if you've had a slip up, just don't eat for 24 hours or 20 hours and then just get back onto your keto um, eating and you'll be fine. Dad, everyone says hi. <clears throat> right, how did I build my audience in the USA? Um, actually, I just, I just think it's because I was the only person doing keto recipe videos and uh, I think keto was probably popular in America at the point I started, which is why most of the American audience found my channel. And keto wasn't big in India at all. And keto has only been big in India in the last one year. So I think that's why most of my audience uh, is from the USA. And yeah, I guess also it makes a difference that I'm I'm doing my videos in English, but I'm only doing it because this is the only language I speak properly. My Hindi is atrocious and I don't speak Sindhi, which is my mother tongue, and uh, I don't speak Marathi, which is the state language. And I don't speak any of the other hundred Indian languages and dialects that we have. So I guess it all just kind of worked out in that way. I'm going to check in on this Korma. Ooh looks good superhero hey hope you in views so that's quite something but yeah hope you glad you enjoyed it ah. so okay it said i'm supposed to cook this till the oil separates from the curd so i'll show you show it to you now check it out so we see here you can see. so see look at that now obviously this is quite liquidy so I will be eating this with cauliflower rice it's it's still got a little bit of body and I can still reduce it for the, um, maybe I can taste one of the mutton chops or at least take out one mutton chop to just kind of you know okay I'm trying, <laughs> trying to take this out ah Right. Let's take that out and put it in the bowl. Okay, so I've got that. I'm going to taste that. Also, let me show you what I'm eating for dinner. If you can see, that's a whole bunch of spinach, which I'm going to make some creamed spinach with. And I've got myself some water buffalo steak before somebody else starts giving me grief about it. Strip loin steak. So you see they write buff because buffalo. So it's not cow. It's a really teeny tiny steak. But yeah, it'll be enough for me. So that's my dinner. Uh, the, the, my lunch tomorrow uh, with some cauliflower rice, which I will cook tomorrow itself. Oh man, it's looking good. Let's maybe sit on the table and eat this. Okay. Hey, there we are. All right. Awesome. So good to see you all here. Hello, Van. I'm good. I am uh, eating some mutton chops in a korma style. I should actually uh, put some 
kasuri methi or some coriander that's actually a great suggestion um but let me just taste it as it is oh that's so good it's that lovely yogurt and brown onion mm and like the lamb chop look the bones are just coming off the like the bone is just fallen off like see this, this is the lamb chop okay this bone is fine but like like i don't know how to show you like look i can break it with a spoon right look at that look at that it's breaking with a spoon like that's how tender mm oh my god mm wow that is so delicious and the gravy oh man mm oh wow and this bit here is the fat the fat of the lamb a <laughs> goat actually fat of the goat mm oh man mm Mm -hmm. I'm so bite into this fat. Mm. Mm. Oh, is is melts in the mouth. Wow, like, and you know it's good. Like when the bones are coming apart clean, you know that's when you know it's cooked like to perfection. and you want to get all the good stuff like the so there's a little bit of marrow marrow like i don't know how many of you eat bone marrow but bone marrow oh yummy see the bone just came off and you can literally lick it clean look at that there's a little sharp shard here but mm so good guys i wish you could taste it here with me and that korma gravy mm i am in a little bit of food heaven so yeah sorry i'm licking my fingers on camera so guys that's it that's how simple it was to make that uh, korma I mean, I could do. I, I, I'm glad I tried this out. Now I can probably do like a proper video recipe of this, and maybe I'll do it with chicken. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, I've already done like a regular korma, so this is a white korma. So if you notice, the color was white, like of the gravy. It was was actually brownish. Sorry, brownish, but not like that dark brown, like a light brown. So that's what we call a white korma. Um, I guess also it's missing tomatoes, so that also makes that difference between red and white. So if you see my butter chicken recipe, I've done a regular butter chicken and a white butter chicken, and the only real difference is the tomatoes. But yeah, this was banging. Yeah, it looks a bit like yakni mutton. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Like they're all in that same like white. I love white gravy stuff, man. I'm that's my jam. Like when it comes to Indian food, anything in like a white gravy is like who? Because I don't like spicy stuff, and the red stuff is always like fiery spice. But yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a short live stream because I've got lots of things to do, and I'm sure you have too. And what I will try and do is, and I will try and release a new recipe video on Wednesday for you guys. So stay tuned turn on notifications and thank you for being here with me I will see you on the next episode you can rewatch this video and get the recipe right from the start thank you all I will see you very soon take care bye bye